many people who are new to seo or the website owners face one major problem that how they can improve seo of their website without paying a huge amount for paid seo tools and i am going to help you solve this problem by using free seo tools so stay tuned and follow up with me Hi friends my name is Ubair in this video i am going to show you free seo tools that you can use to fix seo problems of your website and what is the interesting thing that you can fix these seo problems by yourself and you don't need to hire any seo professional to fix these problems one of the biggest factors of seo is keyword research and what is keyword research it is the process of finding words or phrases that people type into search engines to find some information and you need to target those words and phrases so that you can get organic traffic from search engines now the question is how you can find those keywords with free seo tools other than keyword research an other part of seo is on page seo what is on page seo in on page seo the elements of your website are optimized to increase its ranking in search engines and the examples of these elements are title tag meta description images headings url structure internal linking page loading and so on now let's go to my pc and let me show you how you can do this without paying anything let's go so to find the keyword ideas you need to go to a free tool that is aiwebranker.com which is a platform for seo and marketing tools for the individuals and businesses to grow their website or business online now let me show you how you can find the keywords here is a tool keyword research and in this keyword field you need to enter your target keyword to find the related keyword ideas as an example i am going to write here dog training tips let's say i am going to write on dog training tips and i want to find related ideas to this keyword and next you need to select the location and here you will find the list of countries for example you want to target united states for your keywords so i will select the united states here and then click on generate keyword ideas within few seconds it will get related keywords to dog training tips that may rank in united states region here we have the list of keyword ideas related to dog training tips what you need to do you need to pick the keywords that have high search volume but low competition and try to add these keywords with low competition in your contents so that your content can get higher exposure in search engines for example if i am going to write on this topic i will pick these keywords with low competition puppy training tips dog training advice and dog training tips for puppies and so on and similarly if you go down i will pick the keywords that is dog training tips and here you will find another one puppy training techniques and if you go down here is another one tricks for puppies you can use all these keywords with low competition in your content to get maximum exposure in search engine rankings another method that you can use to find related keywords is using ai content writer what you need to do go to ai web ranker here you will find free ai writer tool here you need to enter a special prompt to find the keyword ideas for dog training tips and for this i am going to use this prompt copy this prompt and paste it here and now i am going to click on submit and within few seconds it will give you the result you can see here it has started to write down and here we have around 10 keyword ideas so you can pick any keyword idea from here for example i am going to copy this keyword from here go back to keyword research tool and paste this keyword here and click on generate keyword ideas you can see here we have the keyword ideas with low competition and we can use more of these keywords in our content so by using this keyword research method you can find more and more keyword ideas and when you will use these keywords in your content it will be easier 
for your blog or website to get the maximum exposure in search engines. Now you have the solution to this problem that how you can find the keyword ideas with the help of free SEO tool. Now the next thing is how you can fix some technical or on-page SEO factors of your website. To solve this problem you need to go to another tool provided by AIWebRanker.com which is SEO Analyzer and Audit Tool. Open this tool and it will take you to another website if you want to go directly to this website its address is AnalyzeSEO.net. And by the way, this AnalyzeSEO.net is an amazing SEO tool. It scans your website for SEO problems and lists down all those problems. Moreover, if you are a SEO professional or a freelancer and you need to show the errors of a website to your client, put the URL of the website here and click on Analyze button. Within few seconds, it will provide you a detailed SEO report showing the SEO problems of this website. So as an example, I am going to scan a website themeforest.net. Click on analyze. So within few seconds, it will provide you full SEO report highlighting the SEO problems of this website themeforest.net. And if you go down, you can see this website has 53 characters of title tag, which is perfect. And the next is meta description. It also has 156 characters and it is also very good. And the next is meta keywords. And by the way, meta keywords are obsolete. They are not anymore required for SEO. The next is headings. This website also has H1, H2 and H3 tags, which is also good. And here we have the Google preview of this website. It means how this website can show itself in search engines. And similarly, if you will go down, you will find all the technical SEO factors that you can improve of your website or your client's website. And now you may be thinking, why do you need to use only this analyze SEO.net website to fix your SEO problems? As I explained earlier, I am not forcing you to use only this website. If you can spend budget on expensive SEO tools, you can go for them. But what I mean to say, you can solve around 80 to 90 percent technical SEO problems of your website with the help of this free SEO tool, which is AnalyzeSEO.net. And an other interesting thing is that you can also find very important information about the website or the domain, such as you can see here domain registration, who is data and other important information about the domain and the most importantly it will also provide you page speed metrics for the desktop and the mobile version okay. and here is the domain availability you can check if the domain is available in other TLD extensions and similarly if you go down and here is the page speed inside metrics for the mobile version so I don't think that this is a bad option for the beginners or the SEO professionals because somehow it fixes many on page or technical SEO problems of the website. Other than this analyze SEO.net, there is an other website which is reportseo.com. So this report-seo.com is similar to analyze SEO.net, but this website has some additional SEO tools. Like if I go to tools section, here you will find some tools related to research, developer tools, tools related to content. And let me show you one of the tools which is SERP Checker. So what is the function of this SERP Checker tool? Let me show you with an example. One of my websites, megafilesender.com, I want to check a specific keyword, for example, large file sender. And I want to check whether my website, megafilesender, is falling under top 10 in Google search for this specific keyword, large file sender. Next, I will select the country United States and click on search. Here you can see my website, Mega File Center, is at the second position in Google search. And to verify this record, let me show you directly by going to Google search. I am going to write here the same keyword. And you can see here, I am ranking at second position in Google search. And if you go down, you can see here, this time my website is ranking at number one for this keyword. Other than this search checker, 
this report seo.com also has many other seo tools you can go and check them and by the way keyword research is also there you can also check this tool okay i don't have time to explain each tool here so go to report seo.com you can check by yourself this website has amazing seo tools okay and uh, next uh, you can also log in and register on this website and after registering on this website you can you can create reports unlimited seo reports for any website so let me show you an example here this is my website mega file sender and as i explained you that the function of this website is similar to analyze seo.net you can see here it is showing you the title meta description and the headings so this red triangle means that my website has some seo issues my website don't have a h h1 tag and if you go down you can also find similar information that i showed you in analyze seo.net here you can find robots.txt status no index in page links language favicon text compression load time and especially the javascript css and your images requests another important function which i missed in analyze seo.net which is you can here you can compare more than one websites their seo problems so it is very helpful to save your time and by the way if you want to read more about technical seo you can go to my website digitcrafter.com where i have published technical seo checklist for the beginners this seo technical seo checklist of 15 points will help you to improve technical seo of your website another important factor of technical seo which is optimizing your uh, images if the size of images on your website is large enough it will slow down your website so to improve the loading speed of your page you need to optimize or compress the images of your website now there are two methods to optimize the images of your website number one is you can install plugins that can reduce the size of images in this way you will save a lot of time and let me show you which plugins you can use if you go to google and search plugins for image optimization it will show you top plugins such as short pixel ewww image optimizer smush imagefy tiny png if you ask me what i use i don't use any image optimization plugin why because such kind of plugins makes your website slower so i prefer to keep my website clean and i use second method to optimize the images which is manual method what i do i use online image optimizer tools let me show you a couple of online image optimizer tools there is a website resizeimage.me here you can optimize your images you can choose five images at once and this resizeimage.me supports all image extensions including webp gif svg and let's see how it can reduce the size of image click on choose files and here i am going to select this image and let's see what it does and here it is the original size of the image is 280 kb and it has compressed up to 123 kb so it has reduced the size of image more than 100% another helpful tool which is tinypng.com it is also an amazing tool okay and i am going to compress the same image that i used in resizeimage.me i am going to compress this image here you can see the reduced image size is 189 kb in resizeimage.me the image size that it reduced is 123 kb and in tiny png it is 189 kb so both tools are amazing you can test both tools so friends the video is longer than expected and i want to finish it here i have explained you about keyword research that how you can choose the keywords for your content with the help of free seo tool if you have budget you can go for paid seo tools it is your choice number 2 i explained about technical seo such as on page seo of your website that how you can fix the seo problems of your website and the third main factor which is optimizing your images i have also explained you how you can reduce the size of images so with the help of these free seo tools you can 
improve the SEO of your website. I hope the information, tips and tricks provided in this video are helpful for you. And if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. That will help me to make more and more videos about digital marketing, SEO and making money online. Moreover, if you need any help to fix the SEO problem of your website, you can comment below in this video. I shall try my best to provide my assistance. Until next time, goodbye.